when you hear younger guys talk about modes, it makes you a little angry. It kind of makes you feel stupid. If you are over 40 and you still can't play with modes, it's not your fault. They act as they have this amazing secret that you don't have, but you know very well that you can do so much with the minor pentatonic scale and you really don't want to completely change the way you already play. However, there's some really cool stuff you could do with modes without completely changing your playing. Depending on the type of music you want to play, depending on the emotion you want to convey in your music, you're going to gravitate towards certain scales. Some scales, modes, are happy, others are sad, others are mysterious, and depending on the mood you want to go with, you're going to go with a particular mode. Okay, so why do so many players have a hard time playing with modes? First of all, there are a lot of them. The second problem is that typically players are very comfortable with the minor pentatonic scale. See, on the guitar, when you want to play a five note scale, a pentatonic scale, you can do so in a way that you will have two notes per strings. Very easy to memorize. So many cool licks within that position, very memorable, and that's why we tend to get stuck in it, but it's a very simple scale to play. On the other hand, if we take one of these seven note scales, the modes, while well, playing that on the guitar is a little more difficult. We can try to map it out in a way that it resembles the minor pentatonic scale, yet some strings are gonna have two notes, others three. It's just difficult to memorize. Another way to play those modes on the guitar is the three note per string system, which means that we're gonna have three notes on each string. It makes it a little easier to memorize. But the problem with that scale is that when you're playing it, it sounds nothing like the minor pentatonic scale. For over a decade, I really struggled. Whenever I played in my pentatonic scale, I sounded okay. I felt in control of the scale, and I felt like I could really express the things that I wanted to express on the guitar. On one hand, the expressive pentatonic player. On the other hand, the awkward jazz wannabe who was trying to play modes, and it just sounded like Crap. Well, let me take you back to 1996. It was a Friday afternoon, and I remember it was raining that day because I was stuck inside the house with my guitar, and I had just bought a copy of the latest Guitar World magazine. I went straight to the lesson column, and there was this one lesson on guitar modes. You know what? I'm gonna give this mode thing one more chance. So I started reading the article. I talked about modes, all derived from the major scale and blah, 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 not useful. And so I kept reading, hoping that it would just click. It sure didn't, until I got to the scale diagrams. There was something a little different about the scale diagram in front of me. I think it was the Dorian mode, but instead of having one of the positions that I had seen before with the Dorian mode, they had mapped out the Dorian mode all over the fretboard. Now, I could have easily skipped that section thinking that I'm never going to memorize this whole diagram, but I kept looking at it and I looked at it and I looked at it again and then it just popped out right in front of me within that diagram I saw the minor pentatonic scale. It was the same exact minor pentatonic scale right in front of me within the Dorian mode. And then something else popped out. Another minor pentatonic scale. Now this time, that minor pentatonic scale did not start with the first note of the mode, but it was right there. It was the same exact shape. And then another minor pentatonic scale popped out. A third one. That was really interesting. I had never seen that before. And I thought to myself, what if I played the same exact minor pentatonic scale I've always played, but instead of starting it from the first note, I started from these other two positions. Well, thankfully, Guitar World at the time came with a CD, and I was one of the only kids in the neighborhood who had a CD player. There were backing tracks there. There was a, a backing track that was called Dorian backing track. Looking at that diagram, I could start the minor pentatonic scale from the fifth fret, the seventh fret, and also the twelfth fret. I had never heard my minor pentatonic scale sound that way. And all I did was just move that pentatonic scale to different areas of the fretboard. And that truly changed everything because whenever I would play in that minor pentatonic scale position, I could use all the licks that I had acquired. I was very comfortable with that position and you probably are too. And I could keep that, that exact comfort that I had with that position and 
simply move that comfort to different frets. And then I thought to myself, what if I could do the same exact thing with the other modes? I flipped the page to the next diagram and there was another mode called Phrygian. I looked at it and this time it popped right away. I found three minor pentatonic scales hidden in the Phrygian mode. The pentatonic scale started on the fifth, third, and 10th fret. So I went back to my CD player. This time I picked the A Phrygian track and lo and behold, I was able to play Phrygian. It sounded very different, but very comfortable with my minor pentatonic scale, starting it from the fifth, third, and 10th fret. And I was instantly fluent in the Phrygian mode. All I had to do was simply play the way that I had always played using the minor pentatonic scale, but just move it around on a different fret. Uh, the next mode was Aeolian, and yep, three minor pentatonic scales hidden in the Aeolian scale. I continued reading the magazine, and then it transitioned to other types of modes. They call them major modes. The first one on there was Lydian. I knew what to do with that. I was looking for a pentatonic scale, but I couldn't find an A minor pentatonic scale. However, I found this. In that position, that looks a lot like a minor pentatonic scale, is a major pentatonic scale. Okay, so Lydian starts with a major pentatonic scale. And so I kept looking at the diagram and I quickly found two other similar shapes. Found one that started on the seventh fret and a third one on the 12th fret. So that begs the question, how can you remember exactly where to start these different pentatonic scales? Uh, check this out. On the left side, we have minor modes. Those modes will use the minor pentatonic shape. On the right side, we have major modes. Those will use the major pentatonic shape. We're gonna tie each of these three minor modes on the left side to their corresponding major modes on the right. Dorian goes with Lydian, Phrygian goes with Mixolydian, Aeolian goes with Ionian. Each of the three pairs will share the same exact starting note for the corresponding pentatonic scale. Dorian and Lydian will have three pentatonic scales. These pentatonic scales are going to start on this note, this note, and this note. The only difference is the type of pentatonic scale you're going to use. For a minor mode, you'll use minor pentatonic scales. For a major mode, you will use major pentatonic scales. In the same way, Phrygian and Mixolydian share the same exact starting points for the corresponding pentatonic scale. And finally, the shape we're going to use to know the starting points of the pentatonic scales corresponding to Aeolian and Ionian is this one right here. Oh, there's one more thing. We're gonna apply all of that on our guitar and make it musical, and we're gonna do that right here. Mode by mode, you're gonna really master them. It's right there. <laughs>